this video, we're going to be talking about the remainder theorem. So the remainder theorem is saying that if a polynomial f of x is divided by x minus k, then the remainder r equals your f of k. So the remainder theorem is, theorem is telling us that synthetic division can be used to evaluate polynomial functions. How great is that? So it's saying to evaluate, evaluate the polynomial function f of x when x equals k, you can use synthetic division for that. So let me show you an example where let's go through an example where we're using the remainder theorem to evaluate. So here we have f of x equals 3x to the third plus 8x squared plus 5x plus, uh, sorry, minus 7. And we see that all of our terms are taken care of, so we don't need any zero placeholders. And it says when x equals negative 2. So we're ready to set this up. So we're going to go ahead and we're take all of our leading coefficients, 3, 8, 5, and negative 7. And we're going to use synthetic division. And x equals negative 2, so the negative 2 goes on front. And we don't have to set that equal to 0 because it already has the equal sign, right? So because it already has that, we can just straight take that negative 2. So we'll begin by bringing down our 3. Then we're going to multiply negative 2 times 3, and that's going to give us a negative 6. Then from there, we get to add 8 plus negative 6. We get a 2, and now we're going to multiply 2, oops, we're going to multiply 2 times negative 2, and when we do that, that gives us a negative 4. And so now from here, we're able to add 5 plus negative 4, which is a 1, and now we're going to multiply our 1 times negative 2. When we do that, that gives us a negative 2, and so we're going to add those, and negative 7 plus negative 2 is a negative 9, and so the remainder theorem is saying that the remainder, our r value, is the same thing as saying what is f of negative 2. If we plug that in to our equation right here, that's going to give us the value negative 9, which we get from our remainder. And so that is how to use the remainder theorem to evaluate.